Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a text reveal animation for your website using HTML and CSS. So if I refresh this page, here we can see we have this animation where the text gets revealed and uh, we're gonna see how to create this animation in this video. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called text reveal and I just opened it with VS code. Let's start by creating the HTML and CSS files. So let's click on new file and let's name it index.html and let's create a CSS file. Let's name it style.css. Right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the SFL, just type style or CSS. Now in the body, let's start with the markup of our design. Now we're going to use a font called Montserrat for this. So let's get the link of the font from Google Fonts. All right, so here I'm in fonts.google.com and let's search for Montserrat. And let's select this font. And I'll just select the bold version. So let's select this one right here, extra bold 800. And let's click on this button called view selected families and let's copy this link and uh, let's paste it in our HTML file. So let's paste it over here in the head section. All right now let's continue with our markup. So the first thing we will do is let's create a container division and let's give it a class of reveal text container. And in that we'll create an h2 for the text and let's give it a class of reveal text and here let's add the text so i'll just type hi welcome and uh, if you refresh this page here we can see we have this rectangle that goes before this text so for that let's create a span so let's create a span element over here so here in this h2 we have this text and we have this span and that's basically it with the HTML of our design. So let's go to our style.css file and let's start styling this. Before that, let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML file and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. All right, let's go to our style.css file and let's start styling this. The first thing we will do is we'll bring this text to the center of the screen. So let's target the body and let's set the height to 100 viewport height and uh, let's set the display to grid and place items to the center. Right now let's target the reveal text. So let's type reveal text container reveal text. And let's set the font family to Montserrat and sans serif. And let's set the text transform to uppercase. And we'll set the font size to 60 pixels. And let's set the font weight to 800. Right now the next thing we will do is add the element that appears before this text is revealed. So that is basically the span over here. So this span right here. So let's also add a class for the span and let's give it a class of reveal BG. And now let's target that. So let's type reveal text container reveal BG. Now we need to position this reveal BG relative to this reveal text. So here for the reveal text, we have to type position and let's set it to relative. And here we'll type position and let's set it to absolute. And let's set the height to 100% and for now let's set the width to 50% and let's see how it looks and let's also add a background color so let's set the background color to e63946 so here we can see our span is being displayed over here on the right now we need to bring it to the left so let's set the left to zero and now we can see that the span is being displayed and uh, we have 50% of the width for the span now the last thing we need to do is animate it. So let's create an animation and uh, let's give it a name of reveal text. And uh, let's set 
the duration to 1200 milliseconds and let's set the easing to ease out right now let's create this animation so let's tap at keyframes and for the name let's tap reveal text and here by default let's set the width to 0% and here for let's try 80% let's set the width to 100% and when we reach 100% we want the width set back to 0 so let's set it to width 0 right now let's save it and we can see that the animation is working but after the animation we don't want the width to go back to 0 on the left side we want it to go back to the right side so here we can see for the reveal BG we have set the left to 0 now here we have to set the left to the extreme right position so we have to set the left to 100% and now we can see that the left position is moving from 0 to 100%. So till we go to 80%, we don't want the left to move. So here also we have to set the left to 0. And now we can see we have the correct animation for the reveal BG. So let's refresh it once more. And we can see that the animation is working all right. Now the last thing we need to do is we don't want to display this text by default. We want to display the text after 80% of the animation is done. So let's add an animation for the text as well. So this is a reveal text. Let's create an animation and let's give it a name of show text. Now for this animation, let's also type four words so that the animation stays in the last state. Right now we need to add an animation delay for this show text animation because we don't want to display this text in the beginning. We want to display it after the animation of the reveal BG has completed. So let's add an animation delay. So just tap animation delay. And uh, let's set it to 1000 milliseconds. And by default, we will set the color of this text to transparent. And now let's create this show text animation. So I'll just tap add keyframes show text and let's set the last state of the animation so we can just type 2 or you can also type 100 percent and let's set a color over here for the text let's set the color to 1d3557 and now we can see that the animation is working all right we have the animation of the text displayed a little late after the reveal bg animation so everything is working all right now you can go ahead and change these colors and these duration to whatever you want. When you change the duration of this reveal BG, also make sure to change the duration of this animation delay. Right, so that's basically how you can create this reveal text animation using HTML and CSS. So that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.